What's up, YouTube? Now, there is a in-game achievement that you get for reaching 1,000 joust matches played, which I got recently without even knowing I was that close to getting it. So, I thought it was only fitting to show some of the matches that I've encountered over the time. This is, isn't all of the 2v3s. This is only the ones I felt like, you know, I should save or whatever. Now, the 2v3 is not a horrible thing if you have two good guards and you are able to end the game mid mid game you do not want to go late game 2v3 like as you can see right now we we're out level two of them and the only reason is anami is ahead of us well tied with us is because her freaking clear is insane She's doing most of the clear for her team. And as long as you end the game before late game, you're good. But you need two good guys. So right here, Anubis and Cobracken. They work pretty darn good together. Anubis got that good burst damage. I got a little burst damage, but... I got a really good slow, which helps him get his damage off. See right here, I burst her down so quick. Anubis got that good burst damage and his active is real good with life steal. So this was a pretty good matchup for us. And as you see, we're cleaning them up. One bad, another bad thing about this is as you, as you're killing them, if you don't kill them fast enough, they're able to respawn and keep, you know, coming at you. If we're killing them one at a time, they're constantly coming. But right here, as you can see, we were able to kill them and finish the game. Now, when the the our teammate originally left, I was kind of hurt because I was like, "Oh man, it's two v three, and all they got to do is put on magical dam. I mean, magical no defense, and the they could shut us out." Because he was the physical character, but luckily they didn't go that route. <clears throat> Next match is Sylvanas and Fenrir. They work really good together. Pretty much Savannah's and anybody. Savannah's is a really good guardian. I don't think he get as much recognition as he should. Especially, well, recently he has been getting good play with the pro gamers. But before recently, I never seen him really getting any play. And he's one of my favorite guardians behind Sobek. Sobek is definitely my favorite guardian. But as you can see right here, I'm going back to to get some more damage. And they, they realized that they weren't going to be able to do anything with us. So they surrendered. Right here, <clears throat> we have Arachne and Al Kwong. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was backpacking this match. I was backpacking pretty hard. And that pissed me off right there. It's already 3v2, but when my teammate backed, they wanna double team me while I was trying to back. That's, that pissed me off. I came back with vengeance after this. I didn't get none for real because he was cleaning them up pretty good. I mean, he was pulling triple kills and stuff all this game. And I was just there backpacking, backpacking my way to the top. 
Now this out push really pissed me off because he camped under tower the whole time when we took his tower. He camped under Phoenix. Which is, you know, that's despicable, man. It's 2v3. We got a disadvantage. Come on, let us kill you and go on about your business. But I have an idea of how to get him out. I'm going to get this bull demon. And we're going to take the tower. And that'll be the end of it. Now right here, I like looking around just in case they try to come over. I don't want to get caught with my pants down. I'm not even focusing the bull demon at all. I'm just really looking around, checking my surroundings. And he's still cleaning them up. He over there by himself, still holding his own. But really, I don't... And they ended up surrendering. I don't even think that our push came under from under the Phoenix. <laughs> He's just sitting there. It's crazy. Next match. Bastet and Tear. Which worked really good together, but unfortunately, this outcome of this match wasn't what we had hoped. <clears throat> Not gonna spoil it yet, but we lost to some foolery, for real, seriously. S some Tom foolery, as my friend would say. They they're no they know what they're doing right now. They got fire means pushing our tank. They're trying to keep us from backing, but we back in time to save him. But it's not gonna matter. Now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I realized that my scout is back up, so I decided to put a, a thing right here and see this Thor who was waiting for his ult so he can um, backdoor us. That is despicable, man. 2v3 and you still want to backdoor us. I didn't realize that our Phoenix was coming back up, or I wouldn't have paid this guy any attention. I would have tried to clear the wave and save the Phoenix, but he lost his life anyway for it. This new one is doing exactly what a new one should do. She's playing back, sending the minions in, doing her job. I ain't mad at her, but I still want to go clean her up real quick. Real quick. She gonna pop this sanctuary, but it ain't gonna help her. I put that cat outside. That was crazy. I ain't know you could do that. He was outside the fences. You see Thor up right there? Drop on our Titan and finish the game. That, that was absolutely despicable. That's sad, man, for real. Next match, we have Susano and Knox. Now, <clears throat> we were never out of this game. Like, right now, they got our Phoenix. We're still in it, doing our thing. Well, I'm still in it. I don't know about Knox. But right here, it looked like I'm in trouble, but I'm Susano. This is pre-patched Susano right here. I'm going to heal up. Now, I'm going to let you know right now, I have no clue how I lost this match. I'll let you see for yourself, but I really sh shouldn't have lost this match. As you can see, I got him scared. It's 2v1, and I still got him running. I was going to clean him up. But as you can see, I lost connection or something. I have no clue. I'm 
I'm just running backwards, waiting on it to connect again. Hello? Boom, they cleaned Hello? up our time. There was nothing I could do there. Absolutely yeah, I, nothing. I don't know what happened. But we got more kills than them. Coming around the back. Right here, this it was a 2v3. Arachne came back at the last minute. As you can see, she's still level 6. That's after getting a kill or two. But, it's, as you can see, I got, I'm greatly outleveled them. So is uh, Sylvanas. We clean them up real quick and force the, the surrender. Low key got away doing low key stuff. I hate that character. Here we have Changa and Medusa. This is the last one I got for y'all. So I made this one a little longer. Right here. What made me rap mad right here? Like Medusa went to get the fire giant. They wanna push now. They hadn't been pushing all game. And they're gonna continue pushing until Medusa show her face. As soon as she show her face, they're gonna disappear. This Vulcan tried to be sneaky and go around the side. It almost worked. Okay, they got me pushed on my tower. Now Medusa back, we can start back pushing. Now as you can see here, got a kill. That was a nice dunk right there by Thor. He dunked on us right when Ravana dunked on us. That, that was pretty cool, but it's not gonna matter. Cause we got them out leveled or whatever. Now, like I said earlier, the problem with 2v3s sometimes is you get the kills and you you should be in a situation to win. As you can see, the Vulcan has already respawned and Ravana has almost respawned again. That puts us in a situation where we can't push the Titan it just yet. So we're going to have to back a little bit. But with one more D aside, we can take this match. I don't know what that Vulcan just did. He just ulted off to the side. I don't know if this is his first match or whatever with Vulcan, but he's been missing a lot of specials like that. And Vulcan is a pretty straightforward character. Pretty easy. He's one of my favorite mages to play right now. He's really good if you're landing your abilities, but if you're missing your abilities, you're going to be in a bad situation. Okay, now we got him out of that spawn, which is good. Medusa back again. As you can see, they're pushing very, very hard <laughs> when I'm by myself. That Thor ordered. I don't know what he was thinking right there, but he I know he didn't want to come on the tower. Okay, Medusa back looking gone. Act like you didn't see me miss that ult right there. This Ravana had the opportunity to run away. We didn't know he was behind us. He could have easily ran around, backed, and then met us at the Titan. But no. Nah, he chose to die. Um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know what you think. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know what you think. If you want to subscribe, cool. If not, as long as you keep watching my videos, that's cool with me. And I don't know what else to say, but thanks for watching.